So then, let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. in the middle of nowhere and they come on the two CVs and look completely isolated <laughs> fantastic it's good to know that you're not on your own no matter where you are there's always someone behind you or in front of you <laughs> there's always one more up you're never the only crazy one, there's always other ones. <laughs> Fantastic. Huh? Last piece is nice, it makes us big. Yes, 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 it's yeah. very nice. Moon-like, right? Yeah. 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 Incredible. Ciao, ciao, boys and girls. appalling conditions today as you can see wind rain cold and miserable but I on the other hand am nice and warm I was actually sweating a minute ago so let's carry on with the day it's F56 So, new rubber going in for the next part of the journey. Time to fill up the bladder. I need all the petrol I can get. Excuse me. Could you do me a favor? Could you hand me that cover, please? Thank you very much. Well, take care. Is this yours? It is mine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you driving over the highlands? Yeah, I need extra petrol. Uh, on the way north? Yeah. yeah. And next stop 
next stop 300 kilometers. All the way to, to the, the coast today? Yeah. Uh, no, I'll sleep overnight somewhere halfway. Tent. <laughs> the real, the real adventure. So, this is where we are at the moment. We are right there on that fuel station. This morning I came from Reykjavik. I came up here and did this F road, F338. I didn't go all the way to the end because apparently there's quite a deep river in here and I didn't want to risk it, I'm riding on my own. So I came down to this fuel station and I now have a full tank plus the six litre bladder filled up and the next leg of my journey will take me through the centre of Iceland, through the highlands. From here to the next petrol station up there, it's precisely 300 kilometres for what I want to do. So I have just about enough petrol. My plan is to come and take a trail up here, which is not shown on the map, but it's a trail that I was recommended that it should be really good. So I'm going to attempt that. Let's see how many rivers I can cross. If I can't cross the rivers, my plan is to turn back, come back, get more petrol, and then take the F35, which apparently there's no river crossings. Should be good. That's really what it comes down to. I'm on my own. It's it's not deep, but the rocks are slippery. Um, I don't want to fall and uh, hurt myself or drown the bike. So I'm going to walk it. I think that's the sensible thing to do. 